Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Solarship here, back with another scripting tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be setting up a daily reward system. Now, we are going to be using a template in this video, so the video isn't going to be an hour long like the GUI video. So the template for this will be down in the description below. But before we get into it, don't forget to like this video if it helps you out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Every Sunday I will be posting a brand new script video so you guys can learn Minecraft scripting right down to its core with game test and Minecraft script API. So let's get into today's video. So the first thing you guys want to do is open up Visual Studio Code and you guys wanna make your way to your behavior pack inside of here. Now I'm on the entry file. If you've been following along with these scripting tutorials, you guys know I always start from the entry file. So from here, what you guys want to do is you wanna to go to your scripts folder. Inside of your scripts folder, make a GUI folder if you haven't already. And inside of there, make an index.js folder. And this is just going to import all of our different uh, scripts inside of our GUI folder. From here, right click the GUI folder and click on new file. Inside here, you're going to make a daily rewards.js and click enter. Then you're going to go and get the template from down in the description below. Now, guys, I'm going to be explaining this uh, for you. So if you guys want an in-depth guide, stick around. If you guys already know what this is, then you guys can just go ahead and skip to the timestamp that's on screen now, which will take you to how to import this into your game and how it, uh, how you can use it, and obviously the uh, demonstration of me using it as well. But first off, we're importing the player, the system, the world, the item stack, and the enchantment from Minecraft server. Now these are just necessary for the script to run because we are using enchants, we are using the world, we are using system.run, we're using the player to set dynamic properties on the player and we're using the item stack for obviously giving the player the items that we are going to be setting up in the daily rewards item configuration right here. But now let's move to the UI. We're importing the message form data. This is found inside of the main form right here. Now this is message form data you guys can customize to your heart's content, but we'll be getting to that later on. Now let's have a look at the world before events player interact with entity dot subscribed. Now what this is doing, it is waiting for the player to interact with the entity. And what entity is it waiting for us to interact with? That'll be the data target .type ID equals 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 Minecraft cow. So this is waiting for us to interact with the entity Minecraft cow or just interacting with a cow inside of Minecraft. You guys can change this to a pig, to an NPC, or if you have a custom item, you can also change it to, uh, not a custom item, a custom entity. You can also change it to that as well, such as Solus Daily, if we had a custom entity. If you guys want a video on how to make a custom entity, then please do let me know down in the description, uh, down in the comments below, and I will get on making a video on how to make a custom entity. I already have a video on how to do that, but it is a little bit outdated, but that video still works. It uses Bridge 2.0. So I highly recommend you go and watch that video as well if you want to make a custom entity right now before I release an updated video on how to make one with Visual Studio Code and using templates instead of having to use Bridge 2.0. But we're going to leave it as the Minecraft cow for this uh, script tutorial. So once we interact with the Minecraft cow, it then does a system.run, so it is running a function now, and the function it is going to run is going to be main form, and it's going to run the data, and it's also going to run that form on the player. So now it's running the function main form. I will get to this in just a second, but first off, let's explain this main form to you. Now, the main thing you guys want to look at here, if you're making multiple of these, if you're not, you can ignore this, but this is talking about the dynamic property on a player. 
This is also known as a database on the player. Now the database inside of this script, I have called it rewards. So you wanna look at this one right here, this one right here, this one right here, and then this rewards right here. So there should be four of them. So one, two, three, and four. Now, if you go to change any one of these like this, the whole thing is not going to work now because it all runs off of the dynamic property called rewards. If you was making multiple of these, say like a weekly reward, then you will have to change all of these to the same name. So if my uh, weekly rewards was called rewards two, I will change all of these to rewards two, just like that. But we're only making a daily reward system in this video. So I'm just gonna leave them all uh, set to rewards, but you guys can change them to whatever you guys really want. So if you want to change it to daily reward system, go right ahead. And also if something goes terribly wrong, maybe you set it to 999 days and you don't know how to fix it, just change the dynamic property name to something new and that will reset all of the data um, on the world and it will make a brand new database to whatever you guys have called it um, using the dynamic property on players. Anyway, what this is doing it is constructing a player data and the player data is going to be the player dot uh, get dynamic property and the property name uh, the dynamic property name we're going to be calling is rewards. Then it's going to set up the dynamic property using json dot pass here. Then it's going to do an if statement. Now this if statement, you guys can customize this if statement, but it's going to get the rewards and it's going to check, has the player already claimed it or has the timer reached the end? So has the player already claimed the reward? If they haven't, it's going to skip this if statement and it's gonna open up the message form data. But if they have already claimed this reward, it's not going to open the message form data. What it's going to do, it's going to return and it's going to do a player.send message. Now what that player.send message is, it's where it sends a message to the player in the chat. Now what it's going to send is system, time left, hours, and it's gonna put time.hours. Now this is how the script is going to display how long the player has left. So time dot hours, minutes, time dot minutes, second, time dot seconds. Now, if I wanted to add days into this, I would simply just do um, days or type whatever I want. And then we're going to put a dollar sign just like so. Then we're gonna open up uh, a pair of curly brackets and inside here, just type in time dot days just like so. And that now will display how many days I have left. But because this is a daily reward system, we don't need to display how many days they have because we know that it's only going to be every 24 hours. So we don't need to display days, but if you guys want to, you can. So like I said, if this was setting up a weekly system, then obviously you would use days as well. Moving on, so when they open up the message form data, so if they haven't claimed their daily reward already, it will open up a message form data. Now you guys can change this title to whatever you guys want. Mine says daily rewards and the body says welcome to daily rewards and it says click the button to claim your reward and it's got claim and exit. Now, if the player decides to exit the menu and click exit without clicking claim, um, what it's going to do, it's going to run an if statement and if this uh, selection equals zero or if it was cancelled, what it's going to do, it's going to return with a player.send message and the system, it's going to say uh, you have closed the menu. Now this system doesn't need to be here, it's the same as this right here, you guys don't need this. It just, it's a nice little thing that I added. Um, but you can just say, you know, system has said this, but you don't need this. So if we just wanted to get rid of that, we could. And it'll just say you have closed the menu. 
Now, if the player has um, selected claim, which is this right here, so if the selection equals equals zero, what it's going to do, it's going to then run this math right here, which runs the reward items. So it's going to pick a random item from here and give it to the player. So how to add brand new items to this if you really wanted to. You put a comma at the end of any of these lines and press enter. Then we're going to open up a square bracket. Let's just do quotation marks here. My keyboard keeps messing up. But anyway, if we do Minecraft and then we do diamond underscore pickaxe here. So diamond underscore pickaxe. We can set that up right there. And once we've set up a diamond pickaxe, we then put a comma, space, and how much we want. So if I wanted to give them five diamond pickaxes, then I would just leave it at that and get rid of the comma at the end and close the square bracket. Now that will give the player five diamond pickaxes. But if we wanted to add an enchantment to this, what we will do is we will then put a comma here. We will open some square brackets and inside here we'll type in new enchantment and then inside of here you can put whatever you guys want the enchantment to be so if we want it to be fortune we would change this to fortune just like so and the player will get given the um enchantment fortune and obviously because it's the last item on the list we won't add a comma but like I said, if you guys just want to add an amount to this, you guys can. So we can just give them one uh, Minecraft diamond pickaxe. But also, if you have custom spawners like I do, you would obviously type in the, uh, the custom item. So mine would be soulless and chicken spawner one. And that will be a level one chicken spawner. And they will get one level one chicken spawner. But you guys can set this to whatever you guys want. And that is how you add custom items and also how you add a custom enchant. Like I said, the uh, template for this will be down in the description below as well. So if you guys just want to copy and paste this or anything like that, then you can. But it will pick a random uh, item from here. It won't give them all of the items. It'll just pick one. So in this case, it might pick a diamond, uh, one diamond. And it will obviously give them one diamond and it will just ignore this right here. Or maybe it will give them a diamond sword and it will only give them a diamond sword with a mending enchant, but it won't give them a diamond. So with that said, let's move on to the next thing. So this now is just playing a sound. Um, this will be random dot level up. And that is just a little Minecraft sound um, that obviously every time you level up, it plays a little jingle. And uh, we just add that in there. So when they claim their reward, it makes a little jingle sound. Now, this is how you set how long the reward is going to be, whether it's going to be one day, whether it's going to be 12 hours, whether it's going to be one week or a month whatever which will be 30 days so if this was a weekly reward we would obviously set it to seven days but if this was a every 12 hours reward uh we would put 12 but you guys can see it says days here so that will make it 12 days and we don't want it to be 12 days so what we're going to do is we're going to set it to 12 hours just like that and if you wanted this to be minutes, obviously you would type minutes in there as well. So that'll be every 12 minutes. But we're going to set it to hours in this. So it'll be every 12 hours um, that the person can claim their reward. Now, when they have claimed their reward, it will obviously show right here um, how long they have left. Now, this is set up in the days format. So it'll say days. It will say hours, it will say minutes, and it will say seconds. You guys can change that if you want to. But it is different from up here. Um, it's just using a different method down here. Um, as you guys can see, it's saying get time, next reward time, dot seconds. But you guys can obviously change that to whatever you want. 
Now what this is going to do, it's going to then set the dynamic property rewards at json.stringify to the next reward time. Now basically what this is going to do, it's then going to set next reward time, which is going to be this right here, to 12. So it's going to set it to 12 hours. That is the next reward time, as you guys can see. And that is what it displays down here. As you guys can see, next reward time, days, next reward time, hours, and so on and so forth. You guys can set that up however you want. From there, if we just go down here, you guys can see this is just the timer um, system right here. This is just the time. Um, I highly suggest you don't mess around with this because if you mess up one thing in here, it will be all out of whack and it will not work. It will show the wrong time and it just won't be correct. So don't mess with this. Um, and this is just adding the items and setting up the enchants for you guys. Again, don't mess with this as it can break a lot of things. But now you've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to now import this into our game. So we go to index.js inside of the GUI and we're going to import and in quotation, mark, uh, in quotation marks, we're gonna put a full stop forward slash data rewards.js and we're gonna save it. Now we're gonna load up Minecraft. We're gonna save and quit our game. We're gonna load back up the world that we have the development behavior pack on. And as you guys can see, it just set up there, GUIs loaded. So that means our GUIs has loaded successfully. So let's go ahead and get a cow. So let's summon a cow in, just like so. Now, if we punch this, it doesn't do anything because we want to interact. Because if you remember, we are interacting with the entity. We're not detecting for an entity dot hit. We are uh, testing for an entity interact. So if we right click this cow, as you guys can see, it says daily rewards. Welcome to daily rewards. Click the button to claim your reward. So if we click exit, as you guys can see, it says you have closed the menu. If we right click it now and click claim, as you guys can see, it's gave us a diamond sword with mending one. And it says your next reward will be available in zero days, 11 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. So if we was to go offline for a few hours or wait um, a few minutes and we're eager, we're like, okay, how long do I have left until I can claim it again? Well, that's easy. We'll just interact with the entity. And as you guys can see, it says time left, 11 hours, 59 minutes and 35 seconds. Now, if we just keep on interacting with this, as you guys can see, it is going down on the left in live time. As you guys can see, I'm currently spamming this cow. That is why it is updating so frequently. But that will update even if the player goes offline. So if the player was to leave, so let's just double check how long this has left. So if we go on here and we say four seconds and the player logged off and the player is off the realm um, and they've went to sleep or whatever and they've came back on. So they've came back on uh, later on. Um, they will obviously check to see if they can claim their reward. And as you guys can see, it is updated. So now it's saying 42 seconds. So as you guys can see, it is running off the live time for uh, Minecraft. So it's running off of the live server time. So real world time. Um, and you guys can easily configure this. Like I said, just keep on watching the tutorial over and over and over again. If this messes up, just recopy and paste the template. But that is how you guys set up a daily reward system inside of Minecraft. I hope this video has helped you. Like I said at the start of the video, don't forget to like it if this has helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I will be uploading every Sunday. Um, this video is uploaded on Saturday, but I will be having another video come out tomorrow for Sunday to start the new Scripting Sundays series because I've decided to call it Scripting Sundays. Um, hence why... Uh, I'm now going to be uploading every Sunday and not every Saturday. So a new video, uh, video schedule for the script API tutorials. But anyway, guys, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. It's Bebo Solus. Peace.